Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back, I guess. We got some competition today. If memory serves, we did White Castle sliders, and those got a 5 out of 5. Also, this store was only selling the party pack, so I have, like, a ton of these cheeseburger bites. Where's my money? Gruesome. Let's give one a little chopsy doodle, see what it looks like while it's still frozen. You know, I, I don't know what I expected. Yes, my, my suspicions are correct. It is filled with meat and cheese. Eight to nine minutes. Okay. Yep. All right, well, I'll see you in nine minutes. There they are. You know, they look like your standard, you know, Tostino pizza roll, but how do they look on the inside? Meat and cheese. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Uh, they, they kind of sort of taste like White Castle. They, they taste more like cheeseburgers you get at the gas station, really. The shell doesn't taste like a White Castle bun, but the inside of it sort of tastes like White Castle. So on a scale of 1 to 10 of how much this tastes like a White Castle cheeseburger slider, I'd give this probably like a 6. But how does it taste like a sausage? We need together used to be... Get in the cheeseburger hall. Well, no, no regrowing necessary on this one. This one's pure mush. Cheeseburger in paradise. I like mine with sausage and fries. Just a... This is, this one's, this one's difficult. Well, that's it. That's all we're gonna get. All that beige is in indicating to me that this is not gonna be a very flavorful sausage. It's a sticky boy. This one's sticking. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist, this guy! What a collage we have here. You got Charlie's O face right in the center. I have a feeling though that this thing ain't gonna blow. But, will it blow? No. It's basically cement in there. But will it throw? Yay! A disappointment all around, except this, except the beautiful box art. So I'm gonna have to give that, will it blow? No, Mark Ruffalo's! I'm sorry I let you down. And we'll be cooking this in the fires in which it was originally forged in. Alright, we're gonna let this cook at 375 for like 10 minutes. It's, it's still not quite done. I, 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 another 10 minutes. That was a 30 minute cook time, but boy does that look good. Well, I can tell you one thing, the skin is mighty crispy. So, uh, you know, let's open it up and see how we did. It doesn't look too flavorful in there, does it? Well, all right, let's, let's try this thing. Here we go! Yeah, as, as predicted, there's, there's not too much flavor in this thing. It, it tastes mostly like the Tostino's outer shell, and, and that's about it. A little hint of cheese, a little hint of, of, of gas station hamburger. This doesn't hold a candle at all to the original White Castle slider sausage. I am impressed with the way that the toaster oven cooked these sausages. So, so we may be doing that for more bread-based sausages in the future. So I'm gonna have to give this sausage here a one out of five. Bop, 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 bop.